Our study this morning is going to be a continuation of our exposition on the book of Hosea. Today we are going to deal with chapter 2, starting from verse 1, going onward. Uh, in these verses, we are going to see, as usual, the church of Israel, the rebellious church of Israel, of the ten tribe, how this ten tribe rebelled against God and how God or the purpose of God, the purpose of God with that church. That church, at the end of everything, was destroyed. But before that, there are so many things which had happened unto that church. And that is what we are going to see as we did from chapter 1, whereby uh, when we go to chapter 1, and before we go to chapter 1 and see some, some points I want us to see, let us see Hosea chapter 2, uh, our verse is verse 1, whereby it says, Say ye unto your brethren, Ami, and your sisters, Ruhama. Say ye unto your brethren, Ami, and to your sisters, Ruhama. Kiswahili? Kiswahili nasewa. Wambieni ndugu zenu wanaume, Ami. Na ndugu zenu wanawake, Ruhama. So, one thing I want us to see or to understand about that verse, it is very hard for a people to understand these two uh, names, Ami and Ruhami, without understanding some point in chapter 1. When you go to chapter 1, uh, verse 1, Chapter 1, Hosea chapter 1, verse, let's start from verse 2. The beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea, and the Lord said to Hosea, Go take unto thee a wife of Hodom, of Hodoms and children of Hodoms. For the land has committed great Hodom, departing from the Lord. So you can see, the first thing here we are being shown that the church had departed from the Lord. And in, and in fact, it became a whole. Because it departed from the Lord through Hodom. Verse 3, so he went and took Goma, the daughter of Diblaim. We, we saw all this, what, and what these uh, terms mean. Which conceived and bare him a son. And that son... And the Lord said unto him, call his name Jezreel. We all, we know about that term, Jezreel. We did that in chapter 1. When you go to verse 4, not 4, 5, 6. And she conceived again and bare a daughter. And God said unto him, call her name Loruhama. Loruhama, what for I'll not more so for I'll no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I'll utterly take them away. So the word here I want us to see first is Loruhama. Because when you go to our first chapter 2, verse 1, we have Ruhama. We have Ruhama. And here the first daughter or the second child is Roruhama. So what is the difference between Ruhama and Roruhama? And when you go to, uh, to verse 7, no, verse 8, now when she had win Roruhama, she conceived and bare a son. Then said God, then, then said God call his name Loami. When you go to our verse our first verse, chapter 2, 
uh, he says army but here is law army so you can see those names they have a correlation they have something in common so that's what I want us first to understand before we go on Loruhama means God have not what? Have no mercy. God has no mercy. But when you come to Ruhama, it means mercy. It means mercy. You can see it means mercy. When you go to Loami, it says, uh, then said God, call his name Loami, for you are not my people and I'll not be your God. So Loami means you are not my people and I'm not your God. So when you go to army, what does the army mean? It means you are my people, you are my, you are my people. people. So those are the things that we, we need first to understand or to have it in, in our mind. So you want to see why God here is saying, say ye unto your brethren, army, and to your sisters, Ruhama. That's the point, the first thing, in order, in order for us to understand this chapter. So, uh, what here God is trying to tell us, or we are going to learn here, is something that we need to understand, because here God is giving is telling is telling us something through army and ruhama ruhama which means in this church you will see that chapter 1 we have seen that god uh, this church because of departing from god and it enter it entered in unto hodom then it, it was no longer the church of God. But how come then, when you come to chapter 2, he is saying something different about this church. So, we have seen that this name uh, means the opposite of the first chapter. In the first chapter, we have seen no ruhama, no mercy, Loami, you are not my people. In the second chapter, we have Ruhama obtaining mercy, and Ami, you are my people. But the thing here, I want you to, I want us to understand. When you go to verse two, when you when we go to verse two of chapter two, it says, "Plead you are with your mother." So that we may understand why God is using those terms. Plead with your mother. Plead. Plead with your mother. For she is not my wife. Neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her holdoms. Out of her sight. And her adulteries from between her breast. So who are these? Who are these being told to plead with their mother? It is Ruhama, Ruhama and, and Ami. Ami. It is Ruhama and Ami. Ami. Are the ones which are being told plead with your mother. with your mother. So here you can see after God condemning the whole church of Israel and saying that you are not no mercy with you you are not my people i'm not and i'm not your god he has remnant in, in that church. church these are the one here called ruhama and ami meaning at any one time that a church has gone into darkness there are the remnants Kiswahili ni maba? mabaki. mabaki those people who have already obtained mercy. mercy those people who have already obtained mercy and those people whom God has, is saying 
you are my people you are, you are my, my people. people those are the one here that god is talking of he's telling ruhama and ami because those people who are left who understand the truth who can see the church has fallen the reformers god always raise some people who can see through and understand that this church though it is a church of god though it has become a whole god can use has some people inside the church whom he can use to do what to redeem the church to help the church that's why he is saying plead with your mother why are they and, and is that church their mother yes yes it is their mother man and they mewaza yeah they are born in that church let us say for example in this generation when you talk of a church we all come from one church which was started by the apostle by apostle. the apostle though we have so many branches which has come up but we can say we are of one ma mother. mother that's why we are all called christians if you go ask anybody you are either a christian or a muslim or whatever so all those who have become christians they are of one mother and this mother is the one who has gone astray not the children you know here we are being told as if a mother can have children and a mother can depart can have another husband but there are, there are some children who can see their mother has lost the direct the direction and they, in fact they can tell her no mother this is not the way so the here ruhami and ami are those who are in favor of god in that church there were some who were in favor of god in that church these are the one who are called ruhama and a ami ebusoma verse 2 read verse 2 in kiswahili in kiswahili nasema msihii ni mama yenu msihii kwa maana yeye si mke wangu wala mimi si mume wake na ayaweke mbali mambo ya uasherati wake yasiwe mbele ya uso wake na mambo ya uzinzi wake yasiwe kati ya maziwa yake yes so that is now what we are going to see what is this pleading one that in the most corrupt times god usually reserves a people to deliver some from the guilt of the general corruptions of the place where they live so this army and ruhama were remainder whom god delivered through his grace from the general corruptions of the place where they lived for otherwise they had not been fit to have said to their brethren or to have spoken to their sisters in this sense so you can see these people they received grace they had a favor of god that is ruhama and a army and that's why god is telling these people to plead to their mother let's say like the present generation those people who are going to reform the church those people who are going to are seeing the iniquity of the church that is of their mother they are the, they are the one who are supposed to plead to plead the reformers they were army and ruha and ruhama because they were pleading to the church they were correcting the church so those whom god delivers from the guilt of general corruptions are to be acknowledged the people of god so you can see when you go to loami 
it mean it means you are not my, pe my people but when you come to army you are my people that means these people who are who are supposed who god called to plead to their mother are people of god ni watu wanani watoto wa mungu na ndio mungu anawapatia ukweli ndio wasaidie kurudisha nani kurudisha mama yao kanisa aache usharati ya aache usharati So any time that you are teaching the truth to any dian to a generation any people in a fallen church like the present church you are acting as Amin. ruhama and ami because god has mercy upon you and god you are a people of god you are a child of god that's why you have been given that privilege you are privileged to call your mother back sasawa mm -hmm. and that one we can see it in first king 1918 nasema pamoja na hayo nitajisazia katika israeli watu elfu saba kila goti lisilo mwinamia bahar na kila kinywa kisicho mbuzu yes yet i have left me 7000 in israel all the knee, and all the knees which have not bowed unto bar and every mouth which has not kissed him so you can see here it, there was a time when elijah said that all people of every person had or every person was worshiping the bar he thought that he was the only one left i think that was this this 19 verse 14 it says and he said i have been very jealous for the lord god uni raja of host because the children of israel have forsaken thy covenant thrown down thy altars and slain thy people with the sword and i even i only am left and they seek my life to take it away you see here it was elijah elijah thought that he was the only one who was left but but god is comforting him saying that there are 7000 who are ambao hajainamia sanamu yes, na kuipusu yes na kuibusu those are the ruhama and army these are the one these are the people here god in this chapter 2 of hosea is calling army and ruhama those people who at the end one time they are men of god even now even this generation even when we see the church has gone into darkness and we see i see there are no people there are no people of god left there are there are god has his people he has his remnant those who are god's people those who have received the mercy of god and they they are the remnant at any one time god has a people no matter how church has gone into hodom so here we need to understand that the lord takes special notice of those who are thus by his grace preserved in evil time ami and ruhama there are there are a people among these that are ami that is my people that have obtained mercy from me or from god that's what, that's what god is saying so when you come to verse 2 he says plead with your mother plead for she is not she is not my wife ne neither am i her husband you can see god already is saying This who this mother is not who 
my wife is not my wife but plead with her so why are they going to plead with her and yet god has already said this is not my wife you see some things are very <laughs> <laughs> okay you see, you see god is a massive god you know here god want to teach us the deeper how god is merciful because he has his people he is telling them plead with your mother though she is not my wife my wife you know here god is not like a man because if it's a man if a woman has has gone if a wife have gone uh, to hold on the husband will not follow that woman he not be interested with her even there's no way she can the husband can say can tell children to talk with their mother and and he is not his wife but talk with her though she is not my wife but here we are being shown that though a church can rebel against god but there is that attachment of god you know god is merciful still he has mercy yani Hmm? tunaweza sema ya kwamba hmm? hata kana kwamba hii kanisa imeasi hmm. kuna kuna kitu ambayo inashika hii kanisa inafanya ishikane na Mungu yes hata kana kwamba imefanya nini imeasi hmm. na ile kitu ambayo inafanya Mungu ashirikiane nayo ni yale mabaki ambayo yako katika hiyo kanisa yako katika kanisa hiyo kanisa hmm. plus kwa? there is no in one time hmm. God will allow if he, if there is a way he can do to curb evil mm. at any one time he will do it because even when you come to those people when we say when we talk of the church the church are those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their lord mm. isn't it yeah. but you'll find that there are those even who have not even accepted uh, accepted Jesus Christ as their lord but still Christ is their prince He is controlling them still. He is curbing them. He has a way of curbing evil. Otherwise, if God had not he had not taken control of this world of evil, things would be have been what? Was. Was. Mambo yangekuwa mabaya sana. Kwa hivyo hapa nikana kwamba tunataka kuambiwa plead with your mother. Plead for she is not my wife. Plead here we can see let us see a verse maybe it can help us that is isaiah 5 verse 3 maybe you can yani it will help us understand this pleading here soma na sasa enyi wenyeji wa yerusalemu nanyi watu wa yuda amweni na wasii kati ya mimi na shamba langu la mizabibu so you can see here we see god condescension that you will have us plead the case between others and himself you see uh judge i pray you that is Isaiah five three. judge i pray you between me and my vineyard this shows the equity of god's dealing plead the case you know if god is not going to have a people to teach the truth to tell people about the truth many men might think that uh, it is god who has offended the church mm-hmm. you know god what you know when people when people has gone astray and god bring up his remnant to teach the truth it is to make people understand that god is a merciful god it is you who have gone astray it is you who cannot listen sio mungu ambaye amekataa ni nani ni sisi ama ni nyinyi ni nyinyi mmekataana eh ni nyinyi wewe yeah plead with, with your mother though is not my wife lakini plead na yeye ni kwa sababu if show the people onesha watu sio mimi nimefanya nini nimemwacha yeye ndiye afanya nini yeye ndiye ameniacha yeah ameanda mambo zake yeah ameenda mambo plead with her 
Though she is not my wife lakini plead muonyeshe onyesha watu plead with her ndio wajue kabisa sio mimi ubaya sio wangu ni wanani ni wake so so this shows the equity of God's dealing plead the case perhaps some of you might think i am deal hardly with your mother in so rejecting her and in bringing such judgment upon her wengine watafikiria nini mimi ndio nimefanya nini mimi ndio nimekuwa mbaya sana na ndio nimefanya imefanya nifanya nini niachane na mama yenu niachane na mama yenu hapana no not so but plead you are, you, are, you the case plead rather with her than complain of me for my dealing with her mulezeni ukweli such that watu wataelewa don't complain unto me muone kana kwamba mimi ndio nimefanya nini nimemwacha nimemwacha ama mimi yale yatamtokezea mimi ndio ndio nini ndio lawama ikue kwangu lawama ikue kwangu hivyo ndio Mungu anataka kusema meaning a church for example god before he the wrath of god come to a people the word of god yani is written we have prophet ambaye wameongea mambo mengi sana that mkataa kwenda na hii jia Mungu anafanya hivi that is pleading sio mtumelewana mm. like present generation kuna mambo tunaambiwa you know watu wakati wanakula wanafurahia wanaona kana kwamba hata yale yameandikwa pale haitafanya nini hata kuja kutokea unasema hii mambo tumeambiwa imeambiwano kutoka zamani mpaka whatever you can see even when god destroyed sodom and gomorrah kuna wale wakiambiwa waliona kama ni mche ni mchezo so god here is saying that there is going to come a time that he is going to through to punish these people no atakuja kuangamia sasa plead with them kwa sababu this thing lazima zitakuja kufanya nini itatimia itatimia ndio watu wajue sio mimi ni wao ni wao any evil which has overtaken them wao wenyewe ndio wamefanya nini wamejiletea wamejiletea hivyo ndio Mungu yale hapo ndio tunafundishwa wale ile hivyo that is going to come to a people sio Mungu ambaye unajua wakati Mungu anasema tunaambiwa eh, wakati Mungu anasema mimi nitafanya hivi he talk ama uanga naongea kama binadamu vile sisi waka tunaongea na binadamu anaona kana kwamba Mungu ndio anakuja kufanya hivyo lakini ukweli ni kwamba tunaambiwa that anything that strike man yeye hiyo yote utokana kwa nani kwa, kwa yeye. yeye there is no evil in god all the evil which strike or come come from man's disobedience god is good na waka tunasema always always god is good is good all the time all the time all the time god is good so where is evil <laughs> is in man is in man ndio hapo hmm? tukirudi nyuma ukiangalia hmm. eh, wakati wanaambiwa Yerusalemu itakuja kubomolewa hmm. wanasema haiwezeka haiwezekani sababu wao walikuwa naamini ya kwamba Mungu atafanya nini atatenda lakini hmm. sababu ya uovu wao ilifanyika ilifanyika ndio sasa hapa unaona plead anasema plead kwa hivyo katika hii kusihi huyu huyu mama kama akikubali haya yatafanya nini hayataendeka kwa sababu ame ameitikia uite wa nani wa mzee wa mzee plead that though she is though she is not my wife yeah. lakini plead maybe anaweza kufanya nini akiachana yeah, bas asike In... asike njia zangu yeah. eh, kanisa ikiacha uovu ishikane na Mungu bas mambo itakuwa sawa lakini Sao. ikikataana Mungu atafanya nini atawachilia atawachilia the wrath of god is going to overtake the church na ukisoma katika hosea utakuja kuona that's what at the end of everything happened to this church it went to captivity even up to today the ten tribes wakapotea hivyo so here we are learning what are we learning when exhortations and admonition will not do we must strengthen ourselves by pleading If there be any way more powerful than exhortation and admonition we should take that way and not presently give over 
For though it is not said here, plead with your mothers, with your brothers and sisters, yet they are included in this. When he says, plead with your mother. So which means, even if you try to tell people, uh, this is not the way, God is as if he had his say, you should not stop. Mwendele, Mwendele, plead. You know, it's as if you say, preach the gospel. Tell the people the truth. Tell them where they have gone wrong. Whether they are going to, either to agree or not. No. But plead with them. Usife moyo. Usife moyo. Hata wenye unambia kana kuamba yeah. wasiki, wewe fanya nini? Wendelea kuapatia. Wendelea kuapea. So, it is hard. I want you to hear this. It is a hard thing to convince idolaters of their sin and of the justice of God coming against them for their sin. It's very hard to conceive and to convince idol, idolaters. Ni ngumu sana kuambia watu wa korongu. Mze, ni kweli? Kwele kuambia watu ya rong, jaribu watu wakati huu. Uwone nobody. Hakuna mtu wata kusikiliza. Hakuna mtu wata kusikiliza. It's very hard. Hata kuambia the wrath of God is coming, if nobody ata kujua. Hmm? Once they have taken a, yani a certain direction, kama sasa hii mafundisho ambayo hiko in this present generation of prosperity gospel, don't think it is easier to convince these people that that is not a gospel. To them, wanajua kabisa wakosa? Wakosa. Na wataenda na hiyo jia. Na diyo hapa sasa, God and Asema, God says, plead with your mother, plead. She will not acknowledge it. Hata kubali. Plead. Lakini, she will stand it out and say, she has not, she has not done so ill. Atasimama aseme che, yaani kanisa hata ikuwe mianguka, inasema haijafanya nini? Haijanguka. Haijanguka. Like present generation na wabia mtu na kuambia, taa kusema hawa mama pasta wote, hawa jui vile wanafanya, wewe ndi unajua. You see, be able to the word of God in Asema. That's the language. Mwata kusema hawa ingine wote wanafundisha, hata so and so. Kuna watu wanandisaka, hata nani, hata sijui nani. They cannot see the iniquity in that person. Hawaoni yo, hawaoni dhambi. Wanaona hawa watu wakosa? Wakosawa. Kwa hivyo sasa njunaona, it is not easy. It is not easy. Those who are left in the church, kama Ruhama and Ami, even if wanaambi wa plead, lakini mta kunja kuona, it is not easy. Watu hawezikia. Watu watasimama. Idolaters have so many distinctions. Hawa watu wabaya wameanguka, hawa kwa katika laini, idolaters have so many distinctions, evasions, and pretenses that it is a thousand to one if you prefer with them. A thousand to one, ndi uweza kuwaweza, uwezi. Our Lord came to the church of the Jew. Lakini, wali musikia. Hawa kwa musikia. They never. They went even to the point to the to the point of crucifying our Lord, the church. Away with him. Away with him. It's not an easy way. Mimi that I have come to see. Na mimi na uanga na yona. Unless you went there, pahari, where you find your muko pamoja na nani? Na wao. Hapo uneza ungea. Lakini, Kuenda uwaze kufundisha ukweli kama vile ulivyo utakosana na wote. Nobody even will listen to him. Wacha hata mapasta. Nikuja kuona unaweza fikiri ati hawa wanafundisha uongo ndio hata wabaya. Hata wale wanafundishwa. Anakuangalianga hivi, anashindwa wewe. Unaweza kuwaje tunaweza kusema ati pasta yake hajui. Mm. Hawa kwanza na hao siwaone, ni wabaya also. You cannot change them. So we must know that it is very fit that God should have some to plead for him. Like Ami and Ruhama. We should not also forget that the devil also has those who plead for him. So it is a, it is a war. Those people who are not in truth. Ruhama na wako kazi. 
Ruruhama nao wako ka? Wako kazi. They are pleading for the devil. So don't think that when you are pleading, it is an easy way. You are going against the grain. You are going against the, 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 the false, that falsity. These people have things that are not true. And they love them. Let us not suppose that they don't. They love it. They love, they love evil. They, they love those lies. Unajua tunaweza kusema ati hawa watu wapendi nini? Wo? Uwanga. Lakini wana, lakini wanapenda. Si Biblia Biblia nasema hmm? Mungu hmm? atawafanya wapende nini? Wapende uongo. Maana kwa wanapenda uongo. So these people have these lies. And that's why hata saa hii if you go to a church utakuta watu wako pale. Na wakati mnaongea juu ya pesa ati watu kupeleka pesa kwa kanisa <coughs> You might think that all oh, every person anaugua katika mioyo ama anaona ni vibaya. Anaisikia hapa it is only in his memory but not in the heart. What do I mean? Kwa sababu the moment hizo pesa zitalea tu atafanya nini? Ata club makofi na atafurahia utasikia urulation kwa hiyo kanisa. They are comfortable. They are comfort. Yeye ni kusema tu mnasema unajua sijui hawa mapasta wana receive pesa. No. They love it. They love it. Hata wenye wana mnasema ati wale wako pale utasiwele uta, pesa utasikia vile watapiga makofi. They love evil. They love it. So usifikiri it is not it is an easy thing to teach this foreign church. Plead your mother. Lakini usifikiri ati ni ni, ni jia rahisi. But he says plead with your mother. She is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Why didn't God say she is a harlot? And you remember, even when she was telling Hosea to marry, he told Hosea to, to marry a wife of Hodom. Which means God would have told Ruhamba and Ami, plead your mother who is a harlot. You know, here it teaches that even when you want to plead with somebody, you will not you, you are not supposed to use harsh words. Words. You should have a de a decorum. Because if you can if you, if you tell somebody, you know this uh, you, you are a harlot, that person you cannot. So God is teaching us to use a softer language. Plead with your mother because she is not my wife but he's not telling them plead your mother because she is a harlot she is not my wife she is not my wife that's a little bit softer ndiweze kufikia nani ndiweze kumfikia sababu kumwambia hiyo maneno mazito ya kwamba wewe ni maaraya hata yale utakayomwambia hata kusikia hata kusikiza use a soft language sasa hapa nataka kuambia unajua hata kama sio bibi yangu you can plead your mother wanajua sio bibi yangu lakini aseme yeye ni maraya mm. eh. so he saying plead with her for what let her put away let her put away her hodoms ye ile kitu nataka uongee na ye ni muambie nini Achana na umalaya. Awachane na umala? Umalaya. Awachane. Plead with your mother. She is not my husband. My wife. My wife. But awachane na nini? Na umalaya. Na umalaya. So, what was the interest? You know, a husband akiwa na plead hivyo awachane na umalaya, labda si anataka amrudishe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, anataka amrudishe sababu ile kitu ambayo imefanya wamekosana mm. na yeye. Mm ni sababu anapiga umalaya na mtu mwingine mtu mwingine yeah. lakini yeah. unaona hapa anasema plead yeah. muambie awachane na umalaya na, na umalaya kwa hivyo akiachana na umalaya wanaweza fanya nini wanaweza rudiana yes you are the party and call na muoa call na muoa wakati pamoja take a man and get sababu ya umalaya that is it which means kanisa god take a long time with the church 
A child can go astray, but still God is attached to that church. Though he is not the husband of that church, because the church has gotten another husband, the devil, the devil has taken over. Yeah. But he is pleading, even that time when the devil has taken over, past chance that this church can reform. I lose hope. But when I the, if this my my wife can can anaisa badilika anaisa wachana huyu huyu mzee mwenye ameshikana na yeye eh akirudi nampokea akirudi nafanya nini hmm. nampokea hiyo ndivyo anamaanisha and that's why he is using his he is using those people whom he has he has given grace unajua <coughs> isipokuwa ni watu hawaelewi so we have seen let her put away her hodoms that is the main thing that god want in any reformation whenever he, he plead with a church it is per chance that these people might not might leave their hodom and come back unto god so let her therefore put away her hodom out of this out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts plead you with your mother and plead so as to tell her plainly that she is no more my wife she has her bill of divorce she is now none of mine even your wanabiwa but then if she is going to leave her hodom then she might have mercy or receive mercy from god god will give her or remember her and even save the same <coughs> ho the same woman who have gone and hodom let us see jeremiah 3:1 Jeremiah 3:1 so that we can see what God is the argument of God on this point. Busoma nasema Watu usema mtu akimwacha mkewe naye akienda zake akawa mke wa mtu mwingine je mtu huyo atamrudia tena je nchi hiyo haitaitwa unajisi lakini wewe umefanya mambo ya ukahaba na wapenzi wengi nawe je utanirudia mimi asema bwana mhm mm nasikia sasa hapo they say if a man put away his wife and she go from him and become another man's another man's shall he return unto her again shall not that lad be be greatly polluted but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers yet return again to me says the lord so you can see that is a church this is a church of israel it has committed hold on with many lovers so when you say hold on with many lovers it means that when you go to the church of israel you will see it has made uh, friends with all the heathens which were around it all the doctrines of heathens had became their doctrines and the doctrine of heathens was the doctrine of who of the, the devil. devil so they were yani is as if now they were married unto the devil because the heathen teachings became their teaching so the devil be became the husband of the church of israel that's why now god is arguing in that sense if a man put away his wife because you can see here i say plead with your with your mother she is not my wife so you can see she had gotten many lovers but the argument of god is if she can leave that has those hearts bad no matter how many they are god will do what nitamkubali nitamkubali so there is no one time a church 
of God, we can say, has gone in our yani has gone into such a sin. If only they can repent, if only they can see their iniquities, God will forgive them. They will turn unto God, and God will be their husband. That's what God is telling us. And that's why we have seen that before God take an action against a church, he can take many, many years before he, he, he destroys that, that church. Pleading with them. Pleading. The only thing that people don't know that even when they have gone astray, they, know, they don't want to learn. But if people can, could have listened all the time and God pleading unto them, I think the church, there's no one time the church could have gone into darkness. But the problem is they do not reason. So God masses are beyond man. Yeah. God masses are beyond man. There's no dreadful threatening against any sinner in the word of God. For any sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is no dreadful threatening against, against any sinner in the word in the word of God for any sin. If you look at this generation, you can see how people are sinning. But you'll find that you'll see the mercy of God all over. You see the mercy of God. It's as if God doesn't notice that. Na hapo ndiyo binadamu anafanya nini? Anakosea. Kwa sababu yeye anaona kana kwamba kama mvua bado inanyesha. Chakula inakuwa. Hata yule mbaya sana ndiyo anaona hata hata anandawiri in the society. Sasa wewe ukisema ati watu wamekosea kanisa imeenda imekosea. Ni wapi unasema? Kama kabisa tungekuwa tuko sawa. Yale mambo tunaona hatugeona. Mwingine kuna wakati anaona saa hiyo even watoto wake ndio sasa hata wanapata kazi nzuri ndio mambo ya nzuri na yeye akikwambia atakwambia ni prayers yeah. <laughs> eh yeah, atasema i've been praying hata wameombewa na so and so sasa kwa sababu yeye anaona mambo yako inaenda nzuri anasema no you cannot huwezi kutuambia ati tumekosea huwezi uh -huh. kusema ati at the end of the no mungu na in fact they talk very well when you know god is a massive god it is true god is a massive god but at the end one, at the end one time when god ex, yani extend his mercy he have, he is a, yani ni wewe he extend it for you so that you can do what you can repent even you binadamu hajui he's a massive god yes but you don't take that mercy the way we are supposed to take it. You must we don't take it the way it's supposed to take it. Eh? Tuna, tunaona tu mambo inaendelea. So God must say are beyond man. You know what is he saying? She is not my wife. She is divorced from me. Yet he is insinuated a hope of mercy. No, no, no. She is not my wife. Plead with your mother. She is not my wife. Like you do what? Plead with her. Awache nini? Umalaya. Awache umalaya. Plead with her. She is not my wife. You can see the mercifulness of God. Kama wanaume watu wakekua hivyo to their wife. Hii dunia kekua iko nini? Iko sawa. Iko sawa. Yeah. Hii dunia kekua sawa. Yeye kabisa kabisa, he is still merciful to that wife, that church. Hata kana kwamba that he has divorced that church, lakini plead with her. That is how God work. But men will always take it opposite, as if Mungu haoni. Let us read Judges 10, uh, 13, and 14. Soma. Inasema, Lakini mumeniacha mimi na kuitumikia miungu mingine basi kwa ajili ya hayo mimi sitawaokoa tena 14 haya enendeni mkaa ililie hiyo miungu mlioichagua 
na hiyo iwaokoe wakati wa kusumbuka kwenu so you see now this is a church of israel if you start from the end of verse 12 in december the zidonians also and the amalekites and the mayonites did oppress you so ni mungu anawaambia and you cried to me and I delivered you out of their hand yet you have forsaken me and served other gods wherefore i'll deliver you no more let us see which means this attack it had been crying there was attack there were many things that they had crying at god and god had was delivering them always ngeipata kutoka 11 from 11 inasema naye bwana akawaambia wana wa israeli je sikuwaokoa nyinyi na hao wa misri na wa amori na wana wa amoni na wa filisti yes and the lord said that to the children of israel did i not deliver you from the egyptians and from the amorites from the children of ammon and from the philistines the zidonian also and the amalekite and the moabites did oppress you and yet and you cried to me and i delivered you out of their out of their hand we know we want to see here that at the end of time though this church had become rebellious but god was always delivering them meaning in any generation even when people have gone astray even when a church ha- has become a whole there are many things that we are delivered by god from mambo mengi sana mungu anaingia katikati na 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 sivas either as a nation ama we an individual person ndio mtu anaona pale mengi ambaye binadamu hata haelewi that god is always among us individually or in the nation or the world he is always a massive god he is fighting for us he is saving us from many oppression that we don't even see there are evil spirits there are spirits we are in the, the spirit world there are even evil spirits that want to destroy us lakini mungu anafanya nini anatulinda anatulinda whether we yani whether we are divorced from him or we are still his wife bado anafanya nini anatulinda anatulinda sasa ndio nasikia hapa akiwaambia mimi and the lord said that to the children of Israel did i not deliver you from the egyptians and from the amorite from the children of ammon and from the philistine that in yet 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 you have forsaken me hata akiwa anafanya yoyote bado anafanya nini wamemkataa wamemkataa so hapo ndio tulikuwa tunasema that uh, you know god wants at any one time is a god of justice and he want if things happen to you he is he is not going to be blamed sidio lawama ni kwenu lawama ni kwenu ni kwenu sasa nawaambia si nimewaoko hapa si nimewafanyia hii si nimewafanyia hii see you have you know, you know nikuja kujua when you see a cry a cry is not a prayer unajua when you see anyone used a cry in the in the scripture usifikiri ati ni kumuomba ali muomba god never hears sinners but he hear their cry the cry here means ni wakati watu wako kwa shida wao kwa shida mingi sana they are crying kwa sababu ya pain wako na wako katika tumult kuna mashida ambayo wanapitia Mungu anasikia hiyo cry anafanya nini ana yeye mwenyewe kwa upendo yake anafanya nini anawaondolea kwa sababu gani nyinyi hiyo iniquity imefanya nini imejaa imekatazi nisha nyinyi na nani na yeye sasa how can you pray to him how can you pray to god na urende dhambi zako zimefanya nini imetanganisha wewe na yeye unajua binadamu anafikiria sasa watu wa kila sawa wanasema ati maombi 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 mkiwa kawakati dhambi imeingia uanga inafunga hiyo jia there is about there is about there is a 
there, there is a nini, there is a barrier. Your communication to God, it is, yani hakuna. Sasa di unasikia, ile kitu wanasikia is a cry, is a cry. Hata ukienda soda umutasikia a cry. It's not a prayer. It's not a prayer. Hatifikiri wawo walikaa, wakaona sasa wacha tumuobe nani? Nani hundu watamuobe mungu na kiongea, ile kitu watatua ni nini? Ni tha? Ni nini ya taogea? Na from the heart akienda kuomba yani self inafanya nini? Inatokezea. Kwanza yale anaongea kabisa kwa Mungu ni kama yani God cannot it is full of evil. Kwa sababu yote inatokana nini? Inatamaza nini? Za mwili. Kwa hivyo sasa hapa ndio anawaambia I heard your cry. Na nikafanya nini? Nikawaondolea. Na hata wakati nimesikia your cry, baraka sasa ni kumaanisha already nyinyi mwepotea. Lakini ile kitu nasikia ni nini? Nikiri, nikiri kwa sababu ile pipa mnapitia. Hiyo ndiyo nasikia. Lakini nikisikia kilio yenu nafanya nini? Kwa sababu mimi ni Mungu wa, wa kuumba mimi nafanya nini? Na na waondolea. For example, Mungu anakubali jai kuje. Jua inawaka inawaka. Watu wanasema ati ndio wanaenda kuomba Mungu. And yet hii hii mvua ambayo imekataa ni kwa sababu ya nini? Ya dhambi zenu. Lakini dhambi zenu hamjaziondoa ndio mvua ifanye nini? Inyeshe. Inyeshe. Sasa yeye ile kitu anafanya, he hear you cry. Hiyo ndio anafanya afanye nini? Yeye mwenyewe anakubali mvua ifanye nini? Inyeshe. Lakini kama nyinyi wenyewe kabisa hiyo dhambi kama ndizo angekubali ziendelee, hata hiyo mvua inge hakuna kitu ungepata. Ati museme nyinyi sasa ndio mmeomba. Hakuna. Is only you cry ambayo anafanya nini? Amesikia. Na sasa hapo cry anasema cry inatokana mpaka kwa wanya, wanyama. wanyama. Wakati unaona ngombe zinakufa, kila kitu kinakufa, God hear the cry even of the animals. Hata nini sasa? Sasa hiyo that's a cry. Maana hata nyinyi mnakuwa sasa kana kama umekuwa kama nini? Anahesabu anaona viumbe ambaye ameumba kama wanyama wanaangamia tu. He hear your cry. Sasa na anawasaidia. Lakini sio prayer tu mfikiria ni maombi yenu. Maombi gani na already amesema nini? You are not my wife. You are not my wife. Plead with your mother. Yeah. That is it. Yeah. Anasema go and cry at the gods which you have chosen. Yoni 14. Go and cry at the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. Kwa hivyo nyinyi enda enda mulilie hizo nini? Miungu yenu. Because ni kumaanisha already you have chosen gods. Cry unto them basi wa, wa, yani wawasaidie. Maana yake nyinyi mwafanya nini? Mwanikataa. You have already chosen those gods. You are no longer my wife. Kwa hivyo walilie. Kwa hivyo kama yeye alikuwa anasikia their cry, anasikia kwa sababu anataka wafanye nini? Wagairi anawapatia ndio wafanye nini waone sasa kwa sababu nasikia hapo anasema but yet go and cry at that in you have forsaken me and served another god na mimi ndio nafanya nini and you cried to me and I delivered you out of their hands lakini hata nikifanya hiyo yote mfanye nini amuone amuone so if these people were praying to god if they had truly that spirit of god si wangeona wangeona Mungu na, na wagairi. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha even hii cry walikuwa analia ni ya mwi ni ya mwi. Ni shida zao zi, Mungu aliona tu wote ni watoe kwa sababu I created them. So you can see let us go let us read second kings 17 22 and 23. Soma inasema na wana wa Israeli wakaendelea katika dhambi zote za Yeroboam alizozifanya hawakujiepusha nazo hata Bwana akawaondoa wa Israeli wasiwe mbele zake kama vile alivyosema kwa kinywa cha watumishi wake wote manabii basi wa Israeli walichukuliwa mateka kutoka nchi yao wenyewe waende nchi ya Ashuru hata leo. That is it. For the children of Israel walked in all the sins of Jeroboam which he did. 
they departed from yeah, they departed not from them until the Lord removed Israel out of his sight as he had said by all his servants the prophet so as he had said from all his servants the prophet so the servant here and the prophet none Neruhama na ami so because they are the one who are chosen by God they had the mercy of God any person who have the mercy of God is among these remnants so the prophet and the servant of God who are doing this are uh, the one who are pleading with these people but even after pleading so was Israel carried away out of their own land of, to Assyria and to this day you can see even after because you can see now here Jeroboam is if you go uh, in chapter, uh, chapter uh, in this book of Hosea, you will see Jeroboam is the one who led these people completely astray. Completely astray with, with wrong teaching. He made them complete hold on. So there's another point here which I want us to see. Uh, that is in this verse 2. Plead with your mother. Plead for she is not my wife. Neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her holdoms out of her sight. And her adulteries from between her breasts. So when you look at that verse, sometimes we might look at it naturally. When you look it in the letter, you might see as if God is talking of a normal woman. And when you say about the breasts, yani they are the breasts of a woman because they are always uh, you will see when a man when a woman commits adultery or when there is whatever it might mean the same things. But here when you say uh, put away her holdoms out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. So the work of a breast is used to nourish a child. That's the main thing of a, of a breast. The breast is a source of feeding. Are you together? Mm -hmm. So you can see this hold on when he is pleading, plead with your mother so that she might remove uh, put away her holdom out of her sight and her adulteries from between her breasts. So when you come to the church, why is this church called a hole? It is because she has changed, she has started receiving an, a, a, another, another nourishment. Teacher. There is another source of teaching. Remember this church had taken all the doctrines of the heathens that were, were around them. You remember even Yanni, uh, throwing their children into fire. Do uh, worshiping the God, God, we call it, Yanni, they called him Astoreth. So you can see they had assimilated, they had gotten other teaching, which to them, uh, it was misleading them. They became a whole. Let us not take it in the letter form. Let us understand why does a child become a whore or adulterer? It's because they receive other teachings than the true gospel. Are you together? Mm -hmm. They receive other teachings. They are nourished with the other doctrines, which are not doctrines per se. They are things concocted by men. They are things joined together as if they are knowledges, but they are not truths of faith. In a church, we have what we call truths of faith. When you say truths of faith, are those truths which are going to lead unto faith and true faith. But when you come to truth which are not going to lead unto true faith, 
These are not truth. They are false. They are things which are false. But since this church doesn't know the truth, they call these false the truth to be the the truth. Mm. So when a church is receiving the true doctrine, we can say that it is sucking from their mother. From their mother. And this mother has the breast. You see, and that's why you see, when you come to a woman, she has two breasts. Are you together? Mm. Yes. But when, and what about the scripture? Has also two priests. The Old Testament and the New Testament. And the New Testament. That's why you see it, 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 is, it is represented by a woman. So when he is talking about the priest, I want us not to, to think of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a physical woman. I want us to see the spiritual meaning. The spiritual meaning of it. Because here he is not talking of a woman. He is talking of the spiritual meaning of this hole. She is a mother and she is a hole. Which means she also has some breasts. That is it. Kwa hivyo analea kuna ile maziwa sasa analea watoto naye chiza ho na amepata na atapata watoto na amepata watoto Ukitaka kujua chiza ho wacha tuone kidogo dio labda tuele If you go to Hosea 1 anasema in Hosea chapter 1 verse 2 uh, the beginning of the word of the Lord by Hosea and the Lord said to Hosea go take unto thee a wife of Hodom and children of Hodom. That's the point I want you to see. I want to, I want to, and the children of Hodom. Which means the wife of Hodom has what? Children of Hodom. One of the they are children of Hodom. What they are going to suck? They are going to suck the breast of their mother. And the breast of their mother, because she is a whore, is what she, these children are going to be. Mm. Yeah. So wakati nasema, let her therefore, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2, plead with your mother, plead for, plead for she is not my wife, neither am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her hodoms out of her sight and her other tares from between her breasts. Because other tari hapa inafanywa ni, ni ukweli. Na hii ukweli, hii ukweli ambaye, ina, yani hii ukweli ambaye e, 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 inafanywa hapa inakuwa other tari. Ni kumanisha the breast ambaye ina, wananyonya sasa ni ya nini ya uo? Ni ya uongo. Wamenyonya uongo. Wamenyonya uongo. Ndiyo sasa, hmm? eh, o, katika huyu mama, katika, katika kanisa, hmm kuasi kutoka kwa Mungu kuna yale mafundisha ambayo wako nayo ambayo yanambatana na nini na ukweli na, na ukweli ndio anaambiwa hata enda muambie aache nini hiyo matiti hiyo um, umaraya kisa achana nayo na hata matiti yale ambayo atakuja kuwanyonyesha nayo asiwanyonyeshe asu maana ni uongo hebu soma Kiswahili tusikie ina labda itaitoa vizuri eh mus, musihini mama yenu msihini kwa maana yeye si mke wangu wala mimi si mume wake na ayaweke mbali mambo ya uosherati wake yasiwe mbele ya uso wake na mambo ya uzinzi wake yasiwe kati ya maziwa yake sasa hata wameweka maziwa badala ya sasa wamejaribu hata kuifafanua ni wajue ni kati ya maziwa ya yake maana hapa kuna maziwa 
Hiyo uongo hiyo uongo ambaye ako nayo asijaribu kufanya nini kuwalea nayo. That is it. Hmm. Plead with her. Maana kiorede kuna yale amefundishwa na imekuwa sasa ndio ndio maziwa ambaye imekuwa maziwa ya kufanya nini? Ndio chakula. Ndio chakula sasa. Sasa ndio unaona hapa anaambia aami na ruhama ya kwamba msihini lakini msitumie hiyo hmm? chakula chake. Asiwali asiwali asiwalishe. Hiyo hmm. matiti yake msifanye nini? Msinyonye kutoka kwa yake. Which means sasa nikana kama tunataka kuambiwa a church when it has become a whole it has gone out of the true doctrine of salvation it has gotten some other doctrine so when you are a remnant ni kama sasa sisi we are reformers we are reforming the church how are we going to help na ndio naona unaenda unaambia mtu hapa hakuna nini hakuna ukweli usikubali hiyo si ukweli watu wanakasirika but you are, you are trying to tell them the milk that you are receiving from that mother that church sio chakula cha nini cha kiroho cha kiroho ni kwa sababu wakati pasta anakuja kuambia naona mkibarikiwa prosperity doctrine those are doctrine ambaye ni maziwa ambaye haina lishe it has no nourishment unto the soul manake hii si ukwe si ukweli si ukweli kwa hivyo aondoe hiyo umalaya katika mati matiti ya, yake Mtiti yake hiyo ananyonyesha watu wamfanya nini? Muambie watu plead with her. That hii matiti yake sasa haifanyi nini? Haifai hii maziwa yake ha, ha, sio mzuri. Amfai kunyonya kutoka Amta, kwake. Amfai kunyonya. Muachane na na hii maziwa. That's what he's telling this church. Maana ni uongo. Maana maana ni uo, uongo. uongo. Unafikiri watu watakubali? Ni ngumu. Ni ngumu. It's very hard to teach people the truth. Mtu atakwambia hii kanisa imekaa hii miaka yote. Wewe yeah. we unataka kusema wewe ndio umeona hadi sasa hii maziwa sio mzuri. Na unaona kama vile tumebarikiwa. Tulioba Mungu. Tulioba Mungu. Eh? Tulioba. And let me tell you. Ukienda katika wale watu kabisa let's say wale ambaye kabisa wako katikati, wako katika kanisa na hawajaelewa mambo they are very punctual kwa kuomba hata kwa kitu kadogo tuombe hata kwa kitu kadogo tufanye nini so you might think that these people nini hii nataka sana nini 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 hii inasukuma huyu mtu waombe nini hii kwa nini mtu anataka saa yote kuwa akikaa hata hata mkifanya tu kitu tu unaona wanataka muombe sometimes i was thinking about that lakini yakuja kuona even hii mambo unaona ya kuomba hapo wakati wote sio mzuri ukiwa mwana wa Mungu you will say unatakiwa kuwa saa yote unaomba no you know god hata kana kwamba anything that you do even you are, when you are meditating you are praying unajua hivyo mm-hmm. even when you are thinking good things you are also pray pray and eh, mungu always waga nataka kusikia wewe wakati unaongea from the heart the, 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 kuna kitu ambaye kabisa you need god's he? yeah. help lakini ikiwa saa yote wewe ni maombi saa yote hata sio kitu ina maana unataka kuambia Mungu. Yaani you know you, you become monotonous. Unakuwa wewe you yani hata unaharibu ni, ni the second commandment. Uzi, uzite nini? Ustaje jina la Bwana. Eh, hey, ovyo. Kwa sababu hebu imagine umeenda na nika kitu kadogo tu unasema acha tuombe. Then it is something that kabisa kabisa wewe you know you, wewe unataka kuoneshana how you are punctual in praying. Lakini in actual sense hiyo 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 nini yako inaleta tena a negative things ukifikiria ni nini ni positive kwa sababu ni kitu ambaye kabisa kabisa you never even needed at lazima uoneshane sasa ati unasema asanti unaona ati umekula chakula kidogo unasema asanti unafanya kitu kidogo una no 
Mungu angetaka asikie wakati unamuita there is hata wewe mwenyewe anasikia kabisa hapo you need what you need help naona kabisa what you are saying kabisa hata kwa sababu is god naona kabisa kabisa inatokana from your heart lakini hii ingine hata inatokaka tu kwa mdomo hapa kwa sababu hakuna nini hata kuna hata shida inatokaka tu hapa unataka tu kusikia tu unafanya nini unatamuka tu maneno utamuka tu ndio watu wasikifu, wafanya nini wasikie wewe ni muobaji so achu, watoto wa Mungu watakiwa wewe unaomba wakati unasikia kabisa asigine you need the, kuna haja don't call saa yote jina la Mungu ati ndionekane kabisa ati wewe ni muobaji why do i say that it's because this prayer the prayer of healings tumesema pale kama kabisa kabisa a church is no longer god is not the husband hata your prayer afanye nini haziki mzee tunaelewana hata your prayer afanye nini haziki but he can hear your cry eric tunaelewana so a cry ataisikia wakati gani wakati umefanya nini umefinyika wakati umefinyika he can hear your cry kwa sababu you are crying from the inside hiyo anaweza kuisikia so wewe nawe unataka hapa tu yani wakati hata yani hauna cry lakini sasa hata prayer haujui already wewe mwenyewe unakuta yani there is no connection so sasa ninaona hapa sasa anasema mwambie hiyo matiti kwa sababu when you come to a foreign church inaenda inafika pahali it doesn't want to read the word of god it doesn't want to know the truth but wana watu wana kitu kimoja tu ambao utaona kabisa they are very punctual maombi jiji kama tunaelewa na nyinyi mzee tunaelewa unakuta it is a church it is not interested with the truth it is not interested with the doctrine it has nothing to even yani hakuna hata hata hataki kujua the script ya vile naenda lakini ile kitu wanabaki naye na ndio nataka uone it is part of ignorance ni maombi kwa sababu gani kuparua mdomo kuongea mambo ni nini ni rahisi lakini yale Mungu angetaka wachunguze wajue ndio warainishe the doctrine hiyo hawafanya nini hawataki hawataki sasa hii maombi inakuwa ni kana kwamba hiyo ndio inabaki and because every person everywhere anaweza ku, 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 yani kuomba sasa inabaki hiyo ndio inabaki peke yake and you will find it with the church utakuta hiyo ndio imebaki go to doctrine hakuna mtu mtazikizana na yeye tunaelewana mm-hmm. lakini aenda useme nani atatuombea unaweza kuta watu wote kila mtu anataka kuomba ni kweli mm-hmm. yeah na sasa Mungu anasema dhambi zenu umefanya nini? Simetenganisha. So your prayer I end beyond the yani hata ipiti hapa. Haipiti hapa. So ni mambo ambaye watu wanatakiwa kuyagalia kwa sababu it is important to understand that Mungu God we must worship God in all ways holistically. It is not one sided. Sio sasa uache mambo mengine yote unataka tu kubakisha tu kuomba kwa sababu unajua kuomba tu ni kuongea unafikiri naye Mungu sasa na yale unaongea hata ufanye nini hauielewi dhambi zile uko nazo zinakufunga lakini wewe kama hiyo hiyo hautaki kujua ile ingine yote hiyo nawacha so lazima tuelewe na hiyo ndio hii matiti unasikia hapa akiambiwa mwambie hiyo matiti yafanya nini Asi, asinyonyeshe asinyonyeshe hapo sasa mwalimu tena ndio unaona mm. E, shetani ameingia mm. katika hii kunyonyesha hii matiti mm. unapata kuna wale wameshikilia mm. e, ku, katika hii kunyonya mm. mtu ameshikilia ni maombi mm. kasi yake ni kuomba <coughs> kuna mwingine ameshikilia ni miujiza <coughs> juu amenyonya tu hiyo matiti ya miujiza ya miujiza e, yani kila mtu amechukua kasehemu amegawana ukweli kila mtu akona na ka ukweli kidogo kidogo ambayo anashikilia anafanya nini 
anakulia mwingine ni miracles ataka kuonesha atarajua wa miracle speaking with tongues chasi yote yamesikia hiyo bado ni 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 matiti yamenyonya hii matiti yamenyonya ambayo wanaambiwa waachane na waachane naye kwa sababu hakuna faida inafanya nini one thing lazima tujue Christ says i am the way the truth the truth and life the first thing that binadamu angataka ajue that Christ came in this world to teach us the truth sio kama tunaona pale he came us to teach us the truth which means even how to pray we have, must be taught by god oh, himself na ndio unaona hata yani the, the apostles waliambia yesu namna gani teach us how to pray teach us to fundishe because walifika wakaona hata kuomba afanye nini hawajui hawajui lakini hapo utakuja kuona people hata hiyo prayer hata ku study ukweli the truth they don't want to study but when you come to prayer unakuta hiyo everybody can do what hata sawa wao wakati wote hata hajali no matter who unakuta mtu yote tu anataka kufanya nini so hizo ndizo era ambayo tunaingia na ndio nimewaambia hii mambo ya kusaa yote atunaona mtu anataka kuomba kila kitu hiyo hapana ukiwa christian ujue tell yani lazima uwe na something to talk to god ambaye atasikiza nani wewe na atasikia kabisa kabisa hapa you don't just take him for granted you, you are serious you you honor him hivyo ndivyo mwanga inatakikana sasawa yeah. i think tumemaliza hiyo uh, next time we are going to deal with verse 3 tukiendelea sasawa uh-huh. okay